Hayden. Excuse me, excuse me. Mike. Mike. Your mommy and daddy, are they here, son? I don't know. Uh, has somebody told them, son? I don't know. But don't worry, I'll phone them, okay? Yeah. Mike. Mike. Have you seen Aiden? He was standing beside me. You mean he was standing beside you when the bomb went off? Is that what you mean? Yeah. And now, uh, where's he now? Is he still in town? That's all I know. Oh. Okay, son, look. I'll phone your mommy and daddy, son, okay? You need to stay awake, son. You need to stay awake for them. Nurse, nurse, please, 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 look after this boy, please. No, no, he, he's awake. He's in ward number two, third floor. No, I, I'm looking for him now. Well, he must be helping. Following what the police said were two deliberately misleading warnings about the location of the device, Shoppers were unwittingly moved out Haven't you seen him? Oh, oh my God! The bomb. Dozens of women and children were among the injured as the deafening explosion... The people have been killed! I see there are hundreds of people alive. I've seen them myself. I've seen people helping! ...were among those killed, as were a Spanish school... There's no way you would have phoned us by now. Look, I don't know where he is, OK, but I'll go and find him. I'll go and find him, OK? Daddy, they're telling people not to go to the hospital. Go to the leisure centre. That's where, if someone's missing, that's where they're telling us to go in. Don't let your mummy watch the TV, OK? Don't let your mommy watch the TV, Kathy! <laughs> Nurse, nurse. Like, can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you, sorry. Gallagher is not in the county of the Belfast list. Not in Derry. That's 30 miles away. Are you sure he's not there? No. Nothing is yet, Mr. Gallagher. I'm so well, sorry. You'll just have to wait. Can I I'm help you? I'm looking for our doctor. He's eight years old. Jolene Marlow, was she on the list? Not on the list. All right, all right. Yeah, keep going through. His name's James Barker. He was on a school trip. Michael? Your father. Mike? Stanley? This is uh, Michael Gallery. He's an old neighbour of mine. This is the Reverend Myers. Hello, Michael. We were neighbours up in Sawhill Park. Father Muller, Stanley McComb. 
I haven't seen you in ages. Seven years. I can't believe that it. it's. Uh... Is Anne with you? Uh, she went to uh, work this morning in the shops. Come and see her. So they're telling me to wait here. What about yourself? Well, um, I was working with Aiden on the car this morning, and then he went into town to get some jeans. They uh, are sent us to VLA, I thought this was all supposed to be over now. Is there anything I can get you, Michael? Uh, no, thanks, Father. I'm, I'm just, I just need to be on my own for a wee minute. See you later, Stanley. Mr. Gallagher. Yeah. Please come through. Mr. Michael Gallagher. Mr. Gallagher, come in. Please, please sit down. I'm sure you know that there have been fatalities today. Huh. I know this is very painful for you, but what we need, Mr. Gallagher, is for you to tell us of any identifying features of your son.
sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sweet love. Oh. Sweetheart. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. There are beautiful flowers on there. I've never seen as many flowers. I've never seen them in love. Thanks, sweetheart. Has anybody seen that? It's always tricking about the cars. And, and have you seen that? I think she's in the kitchen. She went upstairs. And the girls? I think they were here a minute ago. I saw Kathy. Hi, Sharon was here. She got the gone for her. The girls over there. Michael! There's a fellow on the phone asking for photographs of you. No, I can't be with him at the minute. Tell him to call back later. Is it a gentleman? Hi. Michael, there's someone here in the front room. He wants to shoot you. Tell him to call back in a minute, okay? I just want to find Patsy. Excuse me, excuse me. Can I get by you there, please? Patsy? She's, she's Sharon? Daddy, help <clears throat> You'll be all right? Yeah. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll be fine. Right. Okay. See you, Mommy. <sighs> okay. See you, Jerry. Okay. You don't... Uh, uh, what are you going to do about college? Uh, it's not starting for a few weeks yet. Well, uh, you don't have to make up your mind yet, do you? I'll say I'll go. Are you all right? What about yeah, me? Yeah, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Now look after yourselves, okay? Okay, find yourself. Okay. Bye. Safe driving. Are you sure you'll be up? Mommy, yeah, mommy, yes. yeah. Okay. Safe home. Patsy, leave that down. It's okay, I'm just going to tell you a few things. No, Michael. I'll do that. I'll do. You go on upstairs to bed. I'll be up in five minutes, okay? Go on ahead. ceasefire at 2 a.m. this morning, following pressure from the provisional IRA and the Irish and British governments. Tony Blair said that this didn't alter his determination to catch the bombers. For our part, we have agreed that the two governments will work together and will do everything that is possible within their power to hunt down those that have been responsible for this outrage. Police today have...
Hello? Is that Michael Gallagher? Yes. What about this football match? Football match? Alex Ferguson. Roy Keane, coming to play at Benefit Match in Oma. Surely you knew about that. No, no, I haven't heard. But do you know if there have been any charges yet? Have the police told you anything about what they're doing? No, no, they haven't. Who is this, by the way? Lawrence Rush. Lawrence Rush? His wife owned the gift shop. My wife, Libby, owned the gift shop before they blew her up. Oh, yes, yes, I knew Libby. Hey, the point is, Michael, where's our voice in all this? I don't know. I've called a meeting for all the families. The Royal Arms, Tuesday night. He's organised a meeting, he says. Maybe we should go, Michael, just to know what's going on. What I find disgusting and downright insulting is something. The fact that they've reopened the streets. That's right, Lawrence. They've reopened the streets so shortly after they burned it. My daughter, there was barely room for my family. Politicians at work, Trimble, Hume, McGinnis, for God's sake. I never invited any of them. I mean, I know, know you're saying that we're not entitled to compensation. It, it's, not, it's not about the money, mate. I don't care about the money. It, it's what they're saying. They're saying that he wasn't worth anything. My daughter has to strip to show her injuries for the compensation board. Show what they did to her. I can't believe people would make a young girl do that. This Oma Fund, they seem to be saying that, like, it's, a, it's almost like a Victorian means test. Michael. They're giving money out. But what I want to know is what the you see it? Right? Can anyone tell me that? No, 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 please. Uh, what has this got to do with the RUC? I'll tell you what it's got to do with the RUC. Go ahead. 38 people have been arrested. And 38 people have been released. That's what it's got to do with the RUC. Yes, but most of those are south of the border. South of the border, that is the guard. That is not the RUC. Nobody's telling us anything. Nobody's yeah. telling us a thing. I, um, I've written to Tony Blair. <laughs> it's not worth the paper it's written on. Well, he is the Prime Minister, for God's sake. Thank you. It's a different story. As long as the bombs stay out of London, they don't give a damn, they don't care. It's always been that way, and it always will be. No, no, I'm sorry, Lawrence, I'm sorry, I, I can't. Please don't sit there and try and tell me that this is all somehow the fault of the British. When, when are the Irish actually going to start taking responsibility for what happens in Ireland? What do you think this is all about? Money for bombs. Still going on. What's been done about that? Nothing. This is nothing. Community. What about the unionist community? If we want peace, we've got to find a peace that works. But what, has, has, has peace they ever put a, a bomb under a car? He doesn't have to. Every time he opens his mouth, he condemns the peace process. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. Don't. What gives you the right to talk to people like this? Can you just say something? Please, can we all stop fighting at each other? Lawrence, I know can I say something, Lawrence? Lawrence, can I say something, Lawrence? Lawrence, Lawrence, we're not going to get anywhere if all we do is shout at each other. Well said, Michael. Yes. Yes. No, we're not going to get anywhere. Go on, Michael, go on. I'm, never, I'm not very good at public speaking, Stanley. You can do it. Look, I, I haven't put on the TV since the day we buried it. Buried our Aiden. So I don't know what's happening. But I do know this there's Catholics in this room and, and Protestants and Presbyterians and Mormons, Marians here and and some of us believe in God and and now maybe some of us have no God. But I can tell you this, we're not gonna get anywhere unless we do it together. That's the truth of the matter. Here, here. You're still right.
hasn't a clue. Have you met him? Well, you just tell people when they can talk and when they can't talk. And maybe make a few phone calls every now and then. You can't manage to open your mouth at home. How are you going to cope with that, love? <laughs> Come on, it's OK for us to laugh. Well, I just think that it'd be good for us to be involved, maybe, you know? Uh, right in the mm -hmm. That's right. Will we get some date? Yeah, where do we go? Chips. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, chips. Oh, mommy. be possible to be put through to the person in charge of the inquiry, please? Yes, my name is Michael Gallagher. Is there anybody else in the office that I could speak to? I I'm Michael Gallagher. My name is Michael Gallagher. I'm ringing on behalf of the OMA Self-Help and Support Group. Where are the families of the victims of the bomb? We're the uh, OMA support group. We have a meeting with Chief Superintendent Anderson. Uh, if you just go through that way, yeah, please, sir. Chief Superintendent Eric Anderson. It's Mr. Gallagher, Michael Gallagher. Mr. Gallagher, please do come in. Uh, 